With new regions come new nodes to invest in, workers to play around with, and most importantly, more contribution to invest in. But what nodes should you invest in? And is it worth your time coming out here to the land of the morning light to start a worker empire? Welcome back to the channel that focuses all on dead content. My name is Teddy, and today I'll be showing you my node setup here in the land of the morning light. But before jumping in, I just wanted to say how I have my node setup may not work for you, and you may have a better setup for what you need. This is just to show you how I have my own node set up and I highly suggest playing around with your own empire to see what works out and what's best for you. But now let's not waste any more time and let's just jump into it. Though the line of the morning light is small, there's a ton of nodes that I personally think are great depending on the focus of your empire, how much contribution points you have, and if you're choosing to start on the island or just want to invest in an empire out here. The island itself is a playground for those just trying to dip their toes into life skilling and has some goodies even for those veteran players like me. From gathering to trading, there's plenty to do with the worker empire playing a huge part on the island. Just at a glance, all the nodes here, whether it's a gathering node or a workshop, everything here on the island, not including the two manors that can be rented, can all be rented for one single contribution point. So where should you start? The Nampo Mudo Village is a good jumping off point for my worker empire. I set Nampo up to be my trade hub here on the island. Using the level 2 crop factory at Morning Light Nampo 1, I have an artisan dokebi worker packaging tiger flower so i can trade it into valencia later on along with the level one factory at nampo 3 using a professional dokebi worker the rest of nampo is storage and a level three lodging so i can have more workers emo island here has a memory trace node if trace of memory is needed or more mysterious powder for crafting the new hunting trophy heads or the marnie sniper rifle the hanji county node is a good option if choosing wildberry or persimmons to cook with or making the wildberry sacks, but persimmons can be bought from vendors, making this node a waste of two contribution points in my opinion, but you can always take the fruit for a free option. Sology Forest is a great node to take for the bracken if you enjoy cooking. There is a bracken node at Honglin base too, but because the forest is needed to connect the rest of the empire here, it is a clear choice with only needing one extra contribution point. I chose a professional dokebi worker from Nempo to gather the bracken, and I will set him up to store in Calpheon once he hits level 40. Moving up the line, we have the Dokebi Forest, which is a clear and obvious choice above all the other nodes here on the island. Not only can you send workers to try to gather for the Ember of Hunguk and the Forest Crystal, but also the Crystal of Harmony has a chance of being gathered from the other gathering node here. I have an artisan Dokebi worker trying for the Forest Crystal and a professional trying for the Harmony Crystal. Both are from Dolby Village. Another node I chose to invest here is the second from the top, most Dokebi Jar. This should give most to all the lodging needed in Dalbo Village without needing to invest in any of the lodging. After the Dokebi Forest, we have the Gowan Plateau. For those looking to get into their own furniture using either Nampo 4 in the Nampo Mudo Village or the factory at Dalbo 5 in Dalbo Village can choose one of two reed nodes here which are needed for a lot of the new furnitures. Next is the Golden Pig Cave south of Dalbo Village. This is another high priority node with a chance of gathering either the Crystal of Darkness or Crystal of Bitterness. Because I have extra space for workers in Dalbo Village, I sent one of the professional Dokebi workers from the village over to start gathering. Now, we can get onto the Dalbo Village. There wasn't much for me to choose here other than the level 2 crop factory that can be rented from Morning Light Dalbo 3. I have a worker running from Nopsai Biot County just to collect trash crates throughout the week. It's easy trading experience when trying to level an all. Heading up north, I took the Bombway Valley node here. I'm not sure if I even pronounced that right. I'm not going to pronounce anything in this guide right, and I do apologize for that now. There's three great nodes to invest in, with two being my main focus. The Crystal of Decimation can be gathered from the Excavation Node, which I took having an artisan Dokebi worker from the village trying to gather these. Tiger Flower can be gathered from the other node, which I chose to invest in, with being used as a trash crate I'm making with professional Dokebi workers from Beot County, which is more than enough for me right now. Maple Timber, Sap, and Old Bark can be gathered from here too if needed. For the next node, I chose to invest heavily into the Nopsay Beot County. This town is is king for cooking ingredients with having rice, radish, and the Napa cabbage nodes. As for workers, I placed on all artisan shell folk just for the amount of ingredients they can gather per cycle. Now, I invested into the whole town, so starting from the top, I have two Jang Dock platforms at Nopse 3 and 5 making soy sauce just for cooking or selling on the central market. I did get lucky enough to get two artisan Dokebi workers to speed up the process. Next, I have a tool factory to keep me supplied with the new cooking and alcohol 
alchemy tools. Just so I can make repair tools out of them. A professional dustway worker from Nampo takes care of the work until an artisan dokubi worker can be hired instead. I took the two remaining lodges so I can use more workers. Now onto the last node I chose, which is Honglim Base. There's fine lumber and sap here, but I chose the Bracken node for more cooking and sent a professional Dokubi worker from the Nubset Biot County to speed up how fast the Bracken can be gathered, and I will set the worker up to store in Calpheon at level 40. Bame County down here has the same as Honglim Base if you're still needing more pine and Bracken. Bari Forest can't be forgotten with having more Tiger Flower and Cedar Timber node that can be invested in. The last node we can and rent here on the island of the land of the morning light is the Dalai Pier here north of Napse Biot County. This node can be rented for the new ship part blueprints and materials needed to upgrade the parts in the Nampo 2's new ship part factory. If you're also trying to make the new ship, this can be done using the shipyard in Nampo 4. While being able to get more nodes with more contribution points, getting a worker empire started in the land of the morning light is easy and extremely cheap, only needing one contribution point per node or workshop just starting out here and wanting to see how the worker empire is it's not too bad especially before even touching the mainland and investing more contribution points or even needing more contribution points i hope this helps you get an idea of how to set up your own worker empire or if it's even worth coming out here to the island just to invest contribution points like stated before this is not the best node guide and this should not be seen as the nodes that you should be renting this is just how i have my nodes set up and i highly suggest you play around with your own empire and seeing what works out best for you and please if you don't have enough contribution points this doesn't fit into your min max empire or you just don't like my selections please don't get angry down in the comment section down below this is really meant for those new players that are either stuck on the island but as we get to that time again please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more life skilling content and if you just want to see how to get started life skilling here on the land of the morning light to quickly start mastering all those life skills click this video here here, and in the meantime, keep gathering out there.